Alright, should be recording. I just want to... Yes, I do see a file. Okay. Um, it is going medieval, and I have it on graphics because I decided... Try to... Um, key was provided by Tinsel Car for the regular And don't have too much to talk about. Though one of the things is definitely interesting. Steam and um, the Epic Game Store.
I just build up the soil here so I don't have floor going on. Um, yeah, the other piece of news that I have written out is Embracer Group. Um, so they, oh boy, they, they own a lot of stuff. Um, was the publisher which was the developer. But he used to have a Nordic game. But after the fall of the HQ, it actually pushed up a bunch of the IP. Um, and because of that, it actually decided to rename itself to THQ Nordic, the name it still has. But for its time, THQ Nordic was kind of confusing because that was what the name of the developer and the uh, publisher. So they changed the name of the publisher to Embrace Group. Um, I can't tell if there's any description. Um, anyway, um, and it's the same thing that I was saying, but it still is Embrace Group has. <laughs>
why am I only getting like one or two? I have four set to just work and they keep running off. Your priority is to cut plants. It's not to haul. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry. This is just one of those. This isn't how this is. This is not how this should be working. Not even See, See, now that's it. See how they actually went from one to the next? That's the next. Now they're running off though. And there's zero reason for it. Like, it's actually contrary to what they're set to do. At least it looks like this is the only blight that's left. But it is devastating my flax crop. What the hell do you think you're doing? And th this is why they need point of action prioritization changes. You should not need to be constantly, where are they? Cut over here, do it. Where are they? Get over here. No, you should be able to say, no, do this here. I mean, it's kind of like the whole, they shouldn't have, I don't, I like the idea of urgent haul, but it needs to be a, no, haul this top priority. And cut this top priority. It, it needs to be that. It needs to be a top priority system. It should not just be, oh yeah, we've got a new variant of this. It's like, no, no, no. You need to, it's the priority system you need to address here, not a task system. And again, what the hell are you doing? You're running away. You have no higher priorities than this. Because I load everything in this other one, and it's like, you have, there is nothing else for you to do except what I'm telling you to do right now. And you're going off and doing everything. All that. Cut all of it. Because I have zero trust that they will actually deal with this problem in time. I need to just set things to all be cut. And it only hurts. There's four that should only be doing this period. Okay, until they fall over a sleep. This is what they need to be doing. And they're not. But where are they? Preparing food. Is that seriously what it says he's doing? Yeah, preparing food. No, you're not supposed to be doing that. Hungry. No. Well, I mean, okay, I guess you can be hungry, but you need to be doing this. Hall is a stock stockpile. No, hall is not that high. One of them is cutting. All of them should, all four of them should be. Should be cutting, but only one is. You get time off now. And you guys can do whatever the hell you want now. But it's also, you are all so useless. Yeah, I mean, that, that was... Anyway, come back to the races. Um, yeah, Saber Interactive. So, so it looks like what happened is this. That, well, for one thing, the board had decided, I, I kind of remember this coming up, I just don't remember when, where the board had decided one race group, that they wanted to cease operations in, uh, in Russia. Um, and... Well, you need some way to actually achieve that. This is achieving that. But it also, apparently, a co-founder of Saber Interactive more or less left the company. Um, in order to either... I don't know exactly when, but it's like a... Well, is it Interactive? No, Beacon Games? Something like that, I don't quite remember. Um, that he is either just acting for or is the head of... Um, are purchasing Saber Interactive and a number of studios under it. And that mainly will include all of the Russian studios from Embracer Group. So they're going to finally satisfy that requirement. Um, 
to get out of Russia. Um, guys just hang out. So aren't they pets? Yeah, they're pets. So they're free to go do other things, aren't they? Uh, yeah, this, they can fall. I don't want them bad ones. I don't know. Um, Okay, so there. Yeah, let's start doing that. And the Legion is close enough to anything. Um. Yeah, let me look my thing for notes. Um. Yeah, and Gracer is saying also that um, this will improve its cash flow and reduce uh, capital expenditure. I'm pretty sure that's what CapEx stands for. Um, but also with Saber Interactive going so much and taking various series with it, the people on its side are basically saying, yeah, it'll be great for us too. Um, I, I want to see, because the graphics are not... I mean, now they are a bit better. I just want to see what... Yeah, actually, just that may be enough. I mean, it really does depend. Like, here it says it's in the high 40, so basically 50. There's a fair bit going on here, so. Whereas over here, no, it's now low 40s. It just... I do that, and it's bumping up to... Yeah, I have to move the cursor to... Because I do have radio and chill enabled, so this can actually get to the 80s. Um, I could believe it's actually the water. I I'm, I'm dead serious. I can believe that the rendering of the water here... That, depending on how that's done, is actually what's hitting the graphics so hard. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to. Uh, uh,
This was what the hell is going on here? Nobody's hard, nobody's doing the jobs they're being assigned to do. Because like that's absolutely under hard. This makes no sense. Some of these are... My family needs to run through. I, mean, I get that things go up, but it's still, why are some of these where they're just like, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Also seem ambiguous. Something I'm going to admit here. But it's just... It's just because, I mean, it's absolutely, they should not be going to seed at 65%. There's two, there's three of them. What the hell? I, I'm sorry, it's just, I, it very much annoys me how I truly, truly cannot trust the jobs or scheduling system. Mainly the job system. It, it's... It has been, and the most important part of that is that is something I have been complaining about for so many months. I mean, it's almost to the point where if I worked there, which I know is such a bullshit kind of thing to say, but it still is, I feel like if I were there I and could have the power to do it, I would basically say, look, we're fixing the job system. There was no other update. There was no other feature coming out. We are going to overhaul this because it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous how bad and untrustworthy it is. Okay, I mean, it's like, th this is absurd. Let, let me put it another way. Let me put it another way. Let's say there's... I, I have a friend that wants to play this game. That is not familiar with video games, really. But it's like, oh, this one sounds really I want to buy. And they ask me, how does this work? What on earth am I going to tell them? This is such a
you're not just going to try to bankrupt us through this. Um, so maybe that's what happened with Embracer, that they had to pay so much in cash out to whatever it was that they wanted, that they were trying to purchase, but the deal fell through and that hurt them. Or maybe it was also, it could be in addition to that, something like they um, had made so many plans, assuming that they would get it, but then those plans fell through, well, because it fell through, the plans fell through, which meant that a lot of their projections would be off, and so things they had prepared for now don't work anymore. Why? Why are you unconscious? I, I don't, I don't know why she'd be unconscious. She wasn't even one of the ones that I didn't let sleep. What the heck? This makes no sense. It really doesn't. Like, it, it's almost getting to the point with some of this, it would make so little sense. It's like, do I just need to start over? Like, is this so busy that it can't keep things straight? But that should not be even remotely the situation. Because there are people that have much larger than this. Like, this is still tiny. Now, oh, granted, it's not as well managed. But it's still, I mean, come on. Um. Brain has turned off psycho. But, um. Yeah, so I guess just the whole. Hopefully. Uh, they will. They're saying that this will be good for them. Because Embracer. There's a lot of things Embracer is doing has done that. Wouldn't it be nice to see it continue? Um, I mean, it's like Titan Quest 2 is one of the things that they're working on with, uh, that's specifically under T THQ Nordic.
they is, would it be in here? Chance to chain, chance to chance to tame, chance to train. But it's not there. Right? Yeah. Then up there. So yeah, this is just I'm sorry, th this is they legitimately could spend an entire update period just taking care of things like that, bookkeeping kind of things. Fix up job scheduling, make sure that you don't have sats in only one position, especially when it's like, no, this is relevant to various places. It's like it would be very relevant to have here under attributes, or here, especially because you, know, you are tracking tamed as well. I mean, it's, anyway. Um, so yeah, with the framework thing, hopefully it won't be limited to just the framework uh, driver package. And it should be, because this is probably an issue that it would impact other uh, AMD CPU and GPU laptops. Um, one thing I did see, though, that it's funny, I still haven't heard anything back. Like, the last I got from them... Let me actually look, what was that? Uh... That should be this one, yeah. So the last I got when I asked them about some of the stuff that I noticed with the mainly the keyboard firmware, but other things about it. Um I, I mentioned in the review and I, it was just the whole I'm not gonna share the whole details, because for the majority of it it's like, yeah, this is frame this is this is firmware stuff. It's easy enough to change, it's not a hardware problem. Um but it's the last I heard was actually February 29th, and it was just saying we're escalating this to our internal engineers, but I've heard nothing since then. And was this the original? Okay, and the original. No, that doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. February 24th is when I first reached out. do that one look at this because i'm using the cpu to encode holy crap I, this is such a nice cpu i'm only at 10 percent cpu utilization at the moment hang on let me just go back yeah only 20 percent. i love it anyhow um, But it was mentioning, basically somebody was saying that, yeah, I've built the firmware. And it mentioned two things there that are, in my opinion, issues. One is, and I, I know, I'm pretty sure I've talked about both. But it's just like, hey, I saw confirmation. It is the, the RP2040 controller that's used on the input modules. Which I'm glad that they're using because they're relatively easy to flash. But there is a critical disadvantage to them versus something like, say, the Pro Micro or the Elite C, which are the same controller, it's the rest of the board that's different. The Elite C is a drop-in replacement for the Pro Micro, but it uses a USB-C port instead of a micro USB port. Anyhow, if you put those, the Pro Micro, into a um, state to flash, if you just restart it, restart that controller, the firmware is still there and it'll work. Okay, if you flash it badly, now it might be broken. But just putting into that state doesn't uh, doesn't impact its usability in the long term. RP2040 is not like that. The RP2040, if you put it into a state to flash it, it wipes the firmware. So if you were to accidentally trigger that, and there's different ways of doing it. Um, there's multiple ways of doing it. And I could see somebody doing it by accident. It might be unlikely, but it's still possible. If that happens, you are just stuck because you need a firmware file to put on there. 
and framework doesn't provide it. I've not seen it. I've tried looking for it. I've asked about it. That's one of the things I asked about. Is that where do you have these? Do you have these? Nope. Nothing. No information on that. So that does that does bother me. Um, the other is the person who's even mentioning, yeah, go here and clone it. The framework repository for the QMK firmware. Make sure you're cloning this one version uh, zo that had a uh, name of uh, version zero point two point nine. Was it twenty three branches that I counted? That potentially is another. Although he referred to it as a tag, it's like, well, I think he meant branch. And it's just like this is such a mess. It, it's just, I, yeah. It is a mess. Um, so anyway, my suspicion, though, is, and I'm saying this not, why well, I'm saying it as a criticism, but not in a negative way. My, my feeling with how a lot of this firmware stuff has gone, I mean, even just the whole not, include, not having the, the files for somebody to download and reflash, and some of the other designs, like what they did with the number pad and uh, making it where enter and plus when number lock is off do not be, remain enter and plus like on every other keyboard is and I think I may have said this before it feels like it's somebody the person who did the work on the firmware did the work on the key maps or people they would probably be multiple are people who don't have the experience who didn't have experience with QMK that don't know what it's like to build up that firmware to design the key maps I should say because I don't have experience building up the firmware I, I couldn't build a keyboard from scratch in QMK um, but still is like I've spent the time to figure out designing out key maps and such, and also the intricacies of the whole. Hey, yes, RP twenty four. It's great because it's nice and easy to flash. It also has a lot of storage. There. There's so many things you can do with it. That's great, but you you can lose the firmware on it. So, I I, I do feel like. It was just the people didn't have enough experience when designing some of it. Which is, is kind of, uh, I'll, I'll say tragic, that is a bit extreme, but it's, it's just one of those you could have gotten the experience another way, like built up some of your own keyboards. It's like, I've got several years prior, so it's like, you know, that's certainly an option. Um, but Honestly, and like when I talked to like my dad about this, just venting a little frustration, what I would have done is I would have just, and I, I don't remember if I've mentioned this or not, but I would have just gone to existing keyboard companies, custom keyboard companies that have people that have to do the firmware and just talk to them, maybe even try to hire one of them um, as a consultant or as just, hey, can we have somebody, it's like, we'll pay them, but can we have somebody that would spend weekends or whatever, you know, whatever time they could help us with this. Um, because for one thing, I think a lot of people would be like, I mean, because enough of the enough of those companies would be small enough that the idea of one of them taking on a side project like this would probably be like, yeah, that's fine. It's like we know him; we, we're not going to lose him. We're just he's helping. Him. Um, but the other is I could see enough of them. I mean, think about it. the framework laptop in general, the thirteen and sixteen. They're niche products. Okay, that whole modularity, you design modularity to the design. That's a niche thing. Okay, I mean, say so the Frame Sixteen is a very capable laptop. It competes. It would compete with very capable laptops. It's a little bit more expensive than some, but it is a niche thing. I mean, say so even if for, it's an enthusiast grade laptop, and even then, it's a niche within enthusiast grade. Custom mechanical keyboards is also a niche product. So. I could definitely see it being then that plenty of people in the custom cam keyboard community, especially people that run businesses there in that space, would be like your you know, would be interested in the framework laptops to begin with. That just they like the idea of being able to get in there and get so specific and custom customize things. So I could definitely have seen that being good, but it just it feels to me like that's not what happened. Um that they had somebody where it's like, hey, you know how to work with C, right? Yeah. Want to do the keyboard stuff with QMK? All right. That's just what it feels like. And I could vase be wrong. I kind of hope I'm wrong. It's just, I see that as an explanation to to the situation. Um, I'm sorry. I can't imagine 
many people that have worked with QMK would be like, oh yeah, we'll just, you know, chain, we'll just have number lock change the function of buttons. It normally doesn't. I think a lot of them would be like, no, number lock exists for a specific reason. You don't mess with that. Um, and also the whole, you know, with the firmware, it's like, okay, and where are we uploading the firmware so that people can download it? It's like, you know, they would ask that question and, and I could understand some people being like, wait, what do you mean upload? It's like, yeah, we need to make sure people have access to, to the default, right? You, you do understand that, right? Um, and also I could see them being a, yeah, we can have all those, all the branches we want in our own repository, but we're going to put this into the main QMK repository. So everyone knows that's the one to grab, right? We're going to do that. We're going to get this into via properly. So you don't really need, need to use our variant of the, that application, right? I mean, it's, It is still something, though, that all of it can be worked out because this is software and firmware kind of stuff, and that, that it can all be settled. It can all be taken care of later to my complete satisfaction, as though my satisfaction matters. Um, but it's still, it's like in that that is, it is achievable, um, which is why I didn't want to go through a lot of the stuff in the review because I knew that. But it is still kind of weird that I've still not heard anything back yet. Um, and they're doing other things, things that are good to do. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad they're doing that. It still is just a kind of weird situation. But hey, batch one, what do you expect? A little bit of uh, growing pains, teething issues. Although, man, did it say in there? There's one thing that occurred to me. I don't remember when it was. But I'm pretty sure that they did talk about... Um, uh, what the final batch will be and that then they'll just have it be the normal purchasing, which is where Framework 13, that laptop is. So you can just go and order and it should be, and if they have them in, well, they will, for some of them, have them in stock. So they'll ship out in three to five days, that kind of thing. For sure, they said that when they want that to happen for the Framework 16, like they know what the final batch is and then it should be available in that in stock kind of kind of uh, system. I think that is when you will see any new hardware changes, like a new GPU module being offered, because it wouldn't be fair in some ways, and also would just make such a headache if they were like, okay, we're going to, okay, so we've only shipped batch 10, and I think they have batch 17 or something at the moment. It's like, batch 10, yours is shipping next day. Hey, we're now offering another GPU. We're offering NVIDIA GPU. There are some people that would want to change that out. Um, but it just makes sense to me to wait until, wait until then, until all the batches are sold. So that way, you know, you've got them taken care of. You're also not complicating the system or not causing a lot of people to be like, Hey, change your order, change your order. I don't think I would do that though. I, I, I don't, I'm happy with this GPU. Um, and I also don't really feel like changing that out. No, it, it for me, it would just be like the input modules, the, if they had a new design to the number pad, uh, a few design tweaks to the keyboard. Like, oh yeah, if they had different material for the keycaps, oh, that could be so nice. Anyway, um, yeah, so, but those are things that are very easy to change. It's not like the, the uh, expansion bay thing. So anyway, I have certainly blathered on long enough. Um, and by the way, I will say, I think I did say it earlier that I was using, yeah, I did, because I looked at the uh, performance, um, using X264 to encode this, and it went very well. So I am I am really, really happy with how the, the 7940 HS, how, how the CPU is, is performing this. I really am. I, sh I kind of want to do some tests uh, to just see how well, with some of my more complex video processing stuff to see how it handles some of it. Um, but yeah, it, it's, I'm quite happy with that. So I don't, as I said before, I know I'm stretched thin. There's some stuff that I would like to do though, that would be adding to the plate. I really shouldn't do that. Um, but at least it does make me more comfortable with the idea of in the future doing reviews on this, where I record the whole thing or just doing other recordings on it and using 264 to encode on the CPU that like I've been doing on the desktop, but the desktop is, a, is, you know, 1950 X. It's a monster. This is not so much monster, but it's apparently still very capable. 
Um, it also makes me look real. It also makes me very much look forward to, um, like the next desktop because I still want to be a third of it. But I, I had already figured not Zen four teething issues there. Zen five and it's like if Zen four had eight cores in a laptop is able to manage some of this stuff, a Zen 5, like, 24-core Threadripper is going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah. But it is even then, I don't... Th there's other things that need to happen before I up, up, uh, build a new desktop. Um, but it is still... Things are things are going pretty well for, for a lot of this. Anyway, that, as I said earlier, enough of my blathering. So, uh, yeah, I shall see you next time. Probably be continuing in this. Um, yeah, see you then.